we've got nail mail from some stamping plates in Mexico. And I know you're going to think, oh my god, Mexico. Yes. Now, this nail plate supplier, okay, I got their link from another YouTube video when the designer plates came out, okay. I messaged them, they sent me the designer plates, and apart from one that got bent in the post slightly, they were great. So I got a notification that they brought out these brand new plates. Now I'm sure these will hit uh, nail, I don't know, shops, suppliers, whatever, in time, but they always come here first. So I thought I would open them with you and show you. Then we'll test them, make sure they work. So the first one is the Flintstones, guys. So here we have the animal print at the bottom. We have all of them. There's Bam Bam, there's Barney, there's Dino, there's Yabba Dabba Doo. I'm going to flick through them really quickly and then we'll look at if they work. Next I have this one. This is Fire, Water, Earth and Air. It is a witch plate and it's got candles, it's got the palm, it's got the third eye. I thought this super interesting, super, super interesting. I absolutely love it. So have a look, see what else we've got. The Grinch. So I thought Christmas, nice and easy. Not everybody can draw, not everybody, you know, has got loads of money for decals and stuff all the time because once you've used the decal they're gone so i thought this would be a great plate really super easy and quick when when we need it really because uh, christmas is a really busy time as a rule pinocchio pinocchio wood pinocchio the word pinocchio lots of different images Jiminy Cricket there, big long nose, see that could go over a couple of nails, I love it, love it, there's the whale on there as well, I don't know if you saw that, we'll get to it, Looney Tunes, okay, so again, for those of you that know Looney Tunes, there's lots and lots of different characters there, and here we have Peter Pan, now I will leave the link below for these plates for anybody that wants to go and check them out. Now they came out in November, okay? They came out in November, she messaged me and she says, I've got them coming in, uh, you can pre-order them. So I've got them at a discounted price for a pre-order. So once you have uh, plates from these guys, they will notify you when they get new stock in. I've just had another email actually with new plates in, but I'm not gonna get any of those because I haven't even used these yet. And I brought a couple of extra um, to send to one of my friends. Um, what else did I get? I got Sesame Street as well. But like I said, I have sent that on. I did order two of them, but only one came. Again, customer service from these people is fantastic. Sorry about that, I was wanted by the uh, by the girls, that's my dogs. Where was that? Yeah, so I got a couple of each place, I can't even tell you which ones are duplicated, probably about three I think, and one of them was Sesame Street and I only got one. So I did forward that on and I messaged them straight away and within that day I got a refund back. So honestly... Um, I'm really quite impressed before with the uh, with the designer plates um, I never had any problems and I didn't really use them straight away but we're not going to do that today I'm going to set up and we are going to test these out right okay then guys so from this point forward I am going to voice over I've woken up at stupid o'clock in the morning I did the first bit a couple of days ago I've got really busy at the minute so 
I thought, right, I must get that video voiced over and done for you guys. <laughs> you know what I'm like. It sits on my phone for ages. So my apologies. So I thought, right, okay, let's get this done. Let's get it up because I want you to see. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to do two images off each plate on black nail tips. These tips I actually brought black. Okay, I haven't polished them. They're just brought black from uh, wherever I got them. I've had them ages. I got them from a nail art, so it's probably eBay or Amazon or something like that. So, do they pick up? Yes, they do. Do they transfer like a dream? Are they perfect? No, guys, they're not. Okay, if you're looking for a highly polished, perfect stamping plate, this it isn't it. It isn't. I'm not going to lie about it. They are not got the high finish on the edges. It does not have the high quality smooth finish etching on the plate some of them are rough some of them are really quite rough you know you can feel it so like i said i want this to be a true review for you guys now when i got the designer plates apart from one that got slightly bent in the post um and i just put them away i got them i put them away i didn't use them straight away so i didn't get back in touch with them and say it's bent it's you know a couple of the images aren't picking up so that's not their fault that's mine i live and learn with this lot of plates because this is the second lot i've had so it's got to be 12 months since i've ordered off them um and i got this notification and on there with all these brand new plates i thought oh my god i love them there's disney there's looney tunes there's scooby-doo all the things from when i was a kid do you know what i mean and i just i thought i've got to have some and i ordered a couple of extra like i mentioned um and the minute that one didn't turn up i got straight in touch and like i said i got a refund straight away no ifs no buts it was i apologize our mistake here's a refund now another thing as well is they were i got a pre-order in november they were released on the 6th of december and I got them second week of January. She dispatched them on the 6th. The minute they came out on the 6th of December, it hit the post. Guys, if you want a quick delivery, you're not going to get it with this. It's four to six weeks. Just so that you know. So guys, what I'm looking at here is when I'm using the stamping polish, does it go into the etched image? Does it pick up? And how does it transfer? That's what I'm showing you. I did get a holographic stamping uh, polish out the drawer. I thought we'll see if it, you know, the hollow on the black. Because I just wanted to show you. It's all about showing you, does it pick up, does it transfer, what does it look like? I can't fault it. I really can't. I did have a couple of trouble with a couple of the images. And it took me two or three attempts. But I, that wasn't the plate, that was me being a complete numpty. I was getting tired um, that's what it was and I wasn't concentrating and I just I kept saying to my other half like, everything all right I went no it's not it's not going all right and it's because I just wasn't concentrating so I walked away and I came back to it the next day and it picked up sand it really did I was just having an off day I think but I did do this video over a couple of days guys I opened the package on one day started to do a couple of the stamping images and then finished it off and then like I said a few days later I thought right we'll get this voiced over and up that's the holographic so I do go back to the white because as much as I love it I didn't think it was showing on camera as, as well as it could have because I'm trying to not get the glare and everything from the plate from the lights it was it's really quite difficult trying to show you this is just the only one I'm off camera guys so I do apologise and I think as well I only show you the one on that one then I move straight on to the wicker plate wasn't quite sure what to call this plate so yeah I'm going to go with wicker because it, uh, it is rather interesting just super super interesting I uh, I loved Charmed I don't know if anybody watched that programme but I absolutely loved it um, so this reminded me of that so here's the snake i did also pull out an old clear jelly stamper that i've got the other one was a new one all shiny bright and super clear this one's had a battering over the years that i've 
I've used it. It's, honestly, it's like the first one I had. So it picks up on this great take off anything that I don't want. Press and pull and then pop it on, press. It's only a small head, it's only a small image. I don't need to roll it around the C curve like I usually do. Then guys, we are finished with the plates. That's all seven plates, a couple of images off both using a couple of polish polishers and a couple of clear jelly stampers. Right guys, so we're gonna give it a generous top coat. You float it on, what you don't wanna do is ruin the image that you've just done by wetting it with the gel polish and then as you pull the brush around, streaking it, lifting it, moving it. No, so you put the, la the layer of top coat on, float it on gently and then go in and maneuver it around. You can see what I'm doing here. I'll pop that in the lamp guys on all seven nails. We're gonna give it a full cure then we are at the end of our nail play today. Guys, I've tried to be as honest as possible. If there's any questions that you have, anything that I haven't answered, please just pop a comment below i will leave the link to this lovely lady please head on over go and see what she does guys thank you so much for watching please stay safe wherever you are and until next time bye